Did they take John? There was nothing I could do. They took him on a boat, and I... I'm really sorry, Rat. I wish I could tell you where they are. You don't need to. Rue saint lison des Allers, 17th. Is that in Saint-Germain-des-Prés? Yes, it's a mansion, total snob land. If the mansion has a courtyard, it must have a sewer. And if there's a sewer, I can help you sneak in. Baxter won't be back for a while. I hate waiting. Let's take a walk. We could surely use our two hours of daily exercise. Is it safe to leave the guy untied? No, he can't escape. And even if he could, he won't. Not without me. I mean too much to him. Seems amazing, impossible, at last. Let's change sides.
Today, I will die. Maybe we should start prepping the piano hall for that thing they want to do with John yesterday. Not yet. Oh, yes. Vic will have to take care of the girl. We can't leave any loot. I would have already killed that. That was... Indiscreet. No one deserves to live. What I said, two hours, not a minute less. Life is a series of senseless deaths interspersed. I mean, Vulcan, that yesterday guy. He looks dazed. You have no idea. Time... I wouldn't really call this taking a walk. Not that I'm compl... No. Don't move my table yet. You... In Spanish, my mother tongue, someone once translated the bards to be or not to be as to live or die. Well, that's about right, isn't it? Oh, how wrong you are, Ursa. It's not about death. It's about not being. Non-existence.
Roland was fixing up the plants in the lounge, I think. Another loser. It seems like everyone's got time off except that stupid gardener and I. Well, and Amanda. I could use some time off myself. Not that I'm complaining. Have you given some thought to what will happen to you when, uh, well, when you die for good? I mean, hell and all that. Nothing can be worse than this. Five hundred years of hell. Today. I finally return to nothingness, Earth. What do you want? Pauline? How did you get here? I'll tell you later. Right now, all you need to know is... I found a judgment coin! What? No need to thank me. Well, whatever. It's up to you. I placed cameras and microphones in the Neo. For my tablet, I can see what they're doing in the hall where you spoke to Baxter. Oh. And the most important thing, as soon as I open this door, we're getting out of here. I'm not going anywhere, Pauline. I can't leave the treaty or... No, I've got too many things to settle. But Boris is in danger. Please, take him. Are you crazy? You've got to come with me. You're not going to change my mind, Pauline. I've remembered things about myself that... Look, I don't deserve immortality. I'm the only person to blame for all of this. If I don't fix this, we'll spend eternity running away from someone. Please, just do as I say. Save Boris, and I'll take care of the rest.
this might come in handy. You need a four-digit code to open the door. Since it's Hinnis' lab, maybe the password is a date that's important to him. What year was he born in? I'm not sure. I think it was around 1445. What year did you see him for the first time? Um, it must have been, uh, 1481, give or take. When did you find that cursed book? It was a few years after arriving at Santa Brigida. It must have been around, um, 1483. When was the Order of the Flesh founded? 1497, for sure, I think. When did you carry out that transmutation ritual? That I do know, 1501. It's strange that I never asked you this, but... What year were you born in? 1466, although it was a bit strange. According to Hinas, an old man stayed at my father's castle. He was traveling on his own the next morning. When they entered his bedchamber, the old man had vanished, and in his place, there was a baby. Me. How can I convince you to come with me? Didn't you want to have kids? To hell with Baxter and Hines. I'm sick and tired of the past. Let's look to the future. I don't want to bring children into this world. With me, they'd always be in danger. And would they also be transmuted? Or would we have to watch them die of old age? Pauline, I'm coming to realize that no immortal can lead a full life. I'm recording everything that's going on in the hall where the Neo is. If I see the footage, I'm sure I'll find something to incriminate both Baxter and Hines. We'd only have to edit it and send it to the police. Baxter is a millionaire. She'd find a way to go scot-free. You say you've done terrible things. I know you, Mr. Boring. They can't be all that bad. Remember what I was like when I was choke? That's nothing. I've killed, tortured, tricked, betrayed. I don't deserve to live, let alone live forever. That wasn't you. I'm never myself. That's the problem. I figured out how to escape, and Mole is waiting underground to guide us through the tunnels. Then what? We live underground so that they can never find us? Didn't you say I'm the best thing that ever happened to you? Then come with me. The best things aren't always the most decisive. Sometimes the worst matters most, precisely because they get in the way of the best. Is open. Bring Boris. Okay, but Boris isn't ready yet. Close the door in case someone comes and hide while I convince him.
<laughs> Joke! I'm so glad to see you. I'm awake. We don't have time, Boris. Pauline is waiting for you outside. As soon as I untie you, you need to get out of here. What about you? I've got some things I need to do. But I'll catch up with you guys. No way. If you stay, I stay. Did I already mention that I'm awake? You've got to escape. For Danny. How else are you going to find him? Oh, there's something I didn't tell you. While we were in the catacombs, my super mega grandpa found him. He's there with him, Choke. He always has been. Boris. I've been asleep for a long time, Choke, but now I'm awake. Danny is no longer here. The party's over. Are you okay? Hey, I'm not sad. It's more like a release. Danny is okay. Dead, maybe. But, as we all know, dying is not all that tragic. Boris, trust me. You've got to go with Pauline. Yeah, you wish. No, sir. I'm staying with you. Choke, choke. Look, I get that you don't want to go with Pauline. But you should know that Mole is waiting to help you escape. Help me? Who else? She doesn't really get along with Pauline. And I'm not going anywhere. Oh, poor girl. I can't leave her waiting like that. I think she likes you. <gasps> Maybe she wants to make Danny's with me. So are you going then? Just as soon as you untie me. But only because you asked me to. Boris, trust me. You've got to go with Pauline. Yeah, you wish. No, sir. I'm staying with you. Choke, choke. This is dangerous. We could both die, Boris. I need you alive to remind me who I am if they kill me and I come back to life. Tell the boss to remind you. She's your girlfriend. Boris, you could die. It's better that way. Then I'll see Danny. <laughs> it's not like anyone's waiting for me out there. Boris, trust me. Yeah. If I stay, someone's got to look after Pauline. Choke. Are you playing the damsel in distress card with me? How am I going to take care of anyone? I'm completely nuts! Boris, trust me. You... Yeah. We've been through this before, Boris. It wouldn't be the first time we're separated under similar circumstances. But just remember, no matter how far apart we are, I always come back for you. Yeah, I know that. But hey, if I can spare you the trouble of coming back to get me... Boris, trust me. Yeah. By the way, this powder is awesome. What a find. Oh, oh, thanks. Now I can scratch my itchy nose. Boris, trust me. You've got... Yeah, you... Look, I get that you don't want to go with Pauline. But you should know that Mole is waiting to help you escape. Help me? Who else? She doesn't really get along with Pauline. And I'm not going anywhere. Oh. Poor girl. I can't leave her waiting like that. I think she likes you. <gasps> Maybe she wants to make Danny's with me. So are you going then? But only because you asked me to. Okay, we'll wait for Pauline to open the door. And then you'll do just what she says. I managed to free Boris. Get him out of here. Okay, John. You win for now, but don't think you're going to get your way. Now! So, hey. 
hang in there. Because I'll come back for you. He cried blood when he started reading it. Just like you said he would. If you did anything to Pauline... I've known Father Ginez for a long time, ever since I found him in that nursing home. Surprise! We even found a judgment coin. The time has come. Please, kill me. Hello, who's there? I'm your downstairs neighbor, and I am pissed! Excuse me? If you don't stop making noise, I'm gonna have to call the police! Do you even know what time it is? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Don't move, Frenchie. Or your brains will be all over the intercom. <laughs> I'd love to see the look on their... Ugh. No. Let's go inside. You tricked us. Miss Baxter! Ursus! Find anything, my dear Vulcan? It's funny. I granted you immortality, and now I beg you to take it away from me. No. What? No, Vulcan, please. You have to. I don't deserve this. You didn't grant me immortality. According to this, only a person transmuted by the creators of the treaty can understand its pages. And I understood them way before St. Fergus, whoever they were. They transmuted me as a child, centuries before I even met you. You only overwrote the process, allowing me to come back as an adult instead of a child. But I'll help you. Reverting the process is simple. Everything we need is on your table, including the coin. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know how much I need this. You're not the only one. I'll be drinking too. John. No, Pauline. I told you, I don't deserve this either. I've given it some thought and I think I understand you. Can't be easy to live with the knowledge of what you were or what you could become. Besides, no matter how much you try to hide it, no matter what kind of ordinary life we intend to lead, someone will always find out and come after you to take advantage somehow. So go ahead. As for me, I think I'll follow you. I can't say this wasn't fun, but it wouldn't make sense without you. Are you sure? I think so. Besides, we're young. If we change our minds, we can always look for another coin. All right. Thanks, Pauline. Let's do this. The time has come. At last. Thank you, my son. Thank you. There's only one thing that pains me. 
How can I let you go? After a lifetime of searching for you? No. You're coming with me. John! John! Oh, John! My good Vulcan. John! John! No! No! Years before, an old man who claimed to be a messenger of the King of Naples spent a night at your father's estate. The next morning, he had disappeared, leaving behind all of his belongings. His clothes were lying on the bed, covered in blood. And among the clothes and blood, they found a happy and healthy baby, you. Whoever they were, they transmuted me as a child. Centuries before I even met you, you only overwrote the process, allowing me to come back as an adult instead of a child. You win, John.
joke. Oh, joke. Thank you. <laughs> it's your birthday.